So now that you've got your frog moving around with the keyboard and you've got a background that's a highway, it's time to put some vehicles on that highway so they can start pretending at least to interfere with your frog. They're not actually going to interfere right off the bat, so don't expect anything amazing to happen. We have to build that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our open folder, star, and if you were already in animals, it might remember that. We This time we want to go to transportation. So you can just click on costumes, double click on transportation, and there's a series of vehicles in there. I'm just going to choose a blue Mini Cooper. And you'll notice the fur right off the bat that it doesn't fit in the lane. So we need to shrink the sprite and then click on it a number of times until it fits easily in the lane. The smaller the vehicles are, the easier your game will be because that means that the frog can fit between them really easily, really easily. And what we want to do is we want to back our car up so that the back bumper of the car is not quite touching this wall. If it's touching, then it will cause problems later on. We're not going to do a perfect version of the game. We're going to do an almost perfect version of the game. And so it's sort of going to be like our car is going to appear over here. It's going to drive along the route. And then it's in order to simplify this, we're going to do a Star Trek teleport. And the vehicle is going to teleport itself back to this position and then drive over it again and then teleport back and then drive over it again. Now you could you can do a number of different ways to make it seem more complicated than that, but this is the simplified version. So in order to do that, we're going to create a script where when the greed flag is clicked, we're going to forever be driving our car. <clears throat> and so we're just going to choose a simple change in X in order to keep it so that it's not moving up or down at all. It can't possibly move up or down. And in order to move to the right, we'll choose the same three value as our frog. So our cars are going to be going the same speed as our frog. Um, later on, we'll be able to change that fairly easily. But uh, for now, let's just keep it simple. And then we need to know if we are uh, if we reach the edge. So we're going to grab an if underneath that. And then we need to sense whether we are touching something and so put that in and then we can choose to touch the edge all right so we're sort of cheating here so if we're touching the edge then we want to teleport back to this position so it's important that you've got it it um, right in the right location that I'm actually going to move mine up just a touch and in just a touch and then when you double click on it it sort of does this whoop 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 effect then I'll do it again there you can see it and now what that means is that this location, go to x, negative 187, y, minus 99, whatever your number is, that is the actual location on the screen where that car was double-clicked and whooped. So if I say go to this position, then I know as soon as it touches this edge over here, hopefully, then it will teleport back to this edge. Now this causes problems. Again, if the rear bumper is touching this edge, it's just going to sort of do a jiggly dance. So now if I, cr if I click the green flag, you'll see there goes my car, and then it teleports back to the position, and then it teleports back to the position. And it will just keep doing that for the whole game. And that's the basics of making the car move.